everybody wants to be rich, thin, and happy, right? Like if you ask anybody on the street, also they'll say that you know these are the three things that they want in life, whatever definition of rich, thin, and happy is. Then where are our negative thoughts or negative feelings actually like you know coming from? Like if everyone wants the same outcome. So the genesis of our thoughts is our mind, okay. right? Our mind is constantly thinking, and when you understand the human mind, there are two very specific layers where the thoughts are coming from. Number one, the conscious mind. So currently, uh, you and I are interacting with each other, and we are very consciously generating the questions, and the answers are coming out. So we are in our conscious mind. Right. But below the layer of the conscious mind is also a very deep layer called the subconscious mind, which is auto programmed by nature by nature it's a autopilot mind and uh, this mind basically gets programmed with a lot of information right from the time we were conceived in our mother's womb to our early 0 to 14 years of age and when there is some unprocessed trauma or unprocessed information that is stored in our subconscious mind that gets stored as a belief and by default, we are constantly automatically thinking negative thoughts. See, it's very important to understand if it was a positive thought, it would anyway get processed mm -hmm. because it's energy in motion. Okay. The very fact that this thought got trapped in my subconscious mind as a hardcore negative belief is there's some energy that's unprocessed in it. So, our negative thoughts are coming from our subconscious mind, and the deal about the mind is it's got to think 24 7 so if I am not thinking consciously then my mind will pick up thoughts from my subconscious programs which are coming from my past and they're all negative they are fear based they're angry based they're sad based they're guilty based so that's why we get into this loop of negative thinking if I look at any of my negative feelings uh, would that be coming from some time in the past when my emotional needs were not met for example so every thought and feeling that's coming from your subconscious mind in an auto program is a past program, period, hmm. right? Because consciously, nobody would want to think a negative thought. Right. So like I told you, there is this conscious mind, right? And then there is this subconscious mind below it. Hmm. And it totally gets programmed even before we are 14 years old, right? 14 is like too much of a timeline, maybe even 7 years old. 60% of our subconscious mind and memories get programmed when we are in our mother's womb, hmm. right? And uh, so anything that's triggering in my current environment, right, it takes me to my past program and a past memory and it triggers a thought, a feeling, and I just go anxious or I go fearful or I go upset, angry, or I feel rejected or whatever I feel. So to that, the answer is yes every negative feeling that's coming on an auto program is coming from your past unprocessed emotions and they can't be handled by our own self uh, so it takes a lot it's like you know what having a tumor in your body and saying okay i want to go and do a surgery on my own <laughs> you can't right you need an expert hmm. uh, because um, please understand we're talking about reprogramming your subconscious mind which can be done through meditation and all of that. Mm. But having an expert intervention is always a great idea right. because they know what they are doing and they just know how to go there and then build up another new memory. Which is so, more yeah, Because I cannot, there's nothing like uh, deleting the old memory. The memories never get deleted. However, I can build up new memories so I can memorize my new future, mm. right? And uh, I can make that predominant as my new reality. So then my old reality becomes very obsolete. Got it. Got it. Like I can give you an example. I grew up feeling not good enough in my life due to my childhood environment. And even today, that feeling is there inside me in spite of having done all of the self work. However, that feeling is so silent, right? Because I rebuilt a memory that I am good enough. So I've rebuilt another new version of myself. Hmm. So today who po overpowers my personality is my good enough self. Got it. But that doesn't mean my not good enough self is not there anymore. It's there inside. It's a silent voice. But I don't listen to it because the I am good enough self is much more predominant. 
and I end up listening to that. Is that making sense? Making sense. So, um, what is an access to creating, you know, the more aligned self actually, right? Like, let's say that, you know, I want a certain outcome in life and internally I'm not feeling aligned, right? Um, what is, what is an access to creating a more aligned self? The first thing is mindfulness and recognizing that you're misaligned. 99% mm -hmm. of the time people don't even know that there is no alignment between their thoughts, feelings, their intentions and their actions. Mm -hmm. So let's say they want uh, 10 lakh rupees a month. Okay, so they're doing all their gratitude journals and in the action and they're working hard. So in the action, everything is going right. But internally, they're feeling fearful and they have doubt that this is not going to show up. Mm. So most of us, number one, are not even aware that there is misalignment. So the first thing is being mindful. But to be mindful and to even recognize that I'm not aligned, you need to go within. Right. And uh, we were not trained to go within because we are so trained to live on the outside mm. that we even end up blaming the outside world for everything that's going wrong in our world. Right. So the access to going into alignment is purely recognizing that there's something I need to work on myself. Meditation, mindfulness, breath is your doorway to consciousness. So when you mindfully do your breathing exercises and slow down your brain frequencies, you can actually become conscious in your subconscious mind and that is where the magic happens. So in a nutshell, um, is breath the key to like awareness actually? Oh yes, the first thing is breath because your mind uses breath as a signal to create brainwave frequencies. Hmm. So like for example, if I have a tiger running behind me, my breath goes shallow and I'm breathing faster. So my mind picks up a signal that now we, need, we are in danger and we need to survive. So it shuts down our uh, conscious, mind. conscious mind, it shuts down our immunity and our digestion and we are more in the fight and flight mode. But when I'm breathing calmly, right, my mind picks up a signal that now we are safe and now we can regulate uh, ourselves and we could kind of do other things rather than just survival. Mm. So there are two modes of coming from life. One is the survival mode and one is the creation mode. Right. So, and both of them can be switched on and switched off only by regulating your breath. So I wanted to ask you that, you know, like, I think, you know, thinking positively is a very common advice everyone gives, right? But I, I still think that, you know, like, I mean, I personally got that takeaway from you that thinking positively is not uh, the end, uh, you know, like, the, is not the only answer, right? Let's, let's put it that way. There is a key combination that works to okay. actually, you In know, fact, work. you know what? Only positive thinking can also sign up for a disaster. Exactly. Because the thing about positive thinking is the more you think positive consciously, it triggers a subconscious memory that's counter to it. Right. Right. So now you get into a war of thinking a positive thought but feeling negative about it. Right. So uh, it's very important to recognize when we talk about energy, it's all about electromagnetic frequencies. So our thoughts are electric, our feelings are magnetic, right? So when I'm thinking a positive thought, I'm producing an electric feeling, electric uh, energy, and then my feeling has to align with that thought. So I have to feel positive, and then my feeling is a magnetic energy, and then my electromagnetic energy aligns, and I'm producing a very potent, pure, frequency vibration into the field mm -hmm. but if I'm thinking a positive thought and I'm thinking and I'm feeling a negative feeling it then work. it's a positive electric and a neg uh, negative magnetic so it's a very wobbly kind of a I call this a gajibuji frequency what do you call it gajibuji <laughs> so the universe gets confused you is it positive it. or is it negative and now you're in a loop you're stuck mm -hmm. so the first thing is you got to match your thoughts with your feelings and that is pure alignment and when your thoughts match your feelings and you produce a pure potent electromagnetic frequency into the field that's the time of conception into the universe and the universe gives you back immediately what you're asking for mm -hmm. so the whole idea is we got to be mindful to align our thoughts and our feelings however now here is the big giant the subconscious mind that's already programmed with negative stuff. Right. So it's not going to let you feel 
positive. So the first step is you got to go within and reprogram that subconscious mind. Otherwise, you, uh, all your life you keep doing affirmations. Nothing is going to change because the moment you do an affirmation, let's say you got programmed, right, uh, to believe that you're not good enough. Now you sit in an affirmation, say, I am good enough, I am good enough. From inside there will be a voice saying, that's a lie, you're not good enough and they become a contradiction mm. and then you tear apart. So the first step is reprogram your subconscious memories, you've got to go back to the past. You've got to address all of those unprocessed traumas and the second stage is then affirmations. Got it. Because once you've reprogrammed the subconscious memories from the past traumatic events, then when you think a positive thought you immediately produce an aligned positive feeling mm -hmm. and that is where the magic happens.